Earth is layered like an onion, with a thin outer crust, a thick viscous mantle, a fluid outer core, and a solid inner core. There are two massive blob-like structures within the mantle, roughly on opposite sides of the planet. The blobs, more formally referred to as large low shear velocity provinces, that is LLVP, are each the size of a continent and 100 times taller than Mount Everest. One is under the African continent, while the other is under the Pacific Ocean. Using instruments that measure seismic waves, scientists know that these two blobs have complicated shapes and structures, but despite their prominent features, little is known about why the blobs exist or what led to their odd shapes. Arizona State University scientists set out to learn more about these two blobs using geodynamic modeling and analyses of published seismic studies. Through their research, they were able to determine the maximum heights that the blobs reach and how the volume and density of the blobs and the surrounding viscosity in the mantle might control their size. Their research was recently published in Nature Geoscience. Their seismic analysis led to a surprising discovery that the blob under the African continent is about 621 miles higher than the blob under the Pacific Ocean. According to researchers, the best explanation for the vast height difference between the two is that the blob under the African continent is less dense and therefore less stable than the one under the Pacific Ocean. Researchers designed and ran hundreds of mantle convection model simulations to conduct their research. They exhaustively tested the effects of critical factors that may affect the height of the blobs, including the volume of the blobs and the contrasts of density and viscosity of the blobs compared with their surroundings. They found that to explain the significant differences of height between the two blobs, the one under the African continent must be of a lower density than that of the blob under the Pacific Ocean, indicating that the two may have different compositions and evolution. The calculations found that the initial volume of the blobs does not affect their height. The height of the blobs is mainly controlled by how dense they are and the viscosity of the surrounding mantle. The Africa blob may have been rising in recent geological time. This may explain the elevating surface topography and intense volcanism in eastern Africa. These findings may fundamentally change the way scientists think about the deep mantle processes and how they can affect the surface of the Earth. For example, the unstable nature of the blob under the African continent may be related to continental changes in topography, gravity, surface volcanism, and plate motion.